Natsu, how are you doing? I've got something to tell you. Hey, Saki, what is it? Guess what? I'm going to get married. I'm the happiest woman alive. Oh, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I'm going to send you an invitation in the mail, so make sure you come, all right? I'm looking forward to seeing you. Oh, sorry, the love of my life is calling me, so I've got to go. See you at my wedding. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, see you. Uh, uh huh, a another phone call? Natsu, it's been such a long time. There's something I want to tell you. Um, are you getting married by any chance? Yeah, how did you know? I wanted to surprise you, but yeah, I'm finally getting married. Congratulations, I wish you both all the best. Thank you, you're definitely on the invitation list, so look out for an RSVP in the mail. I want you at my wedding, so I hope you can come. Oh, I've got a date with my honey, so I'm going to hang up. Bye! <sighs> oh my god, it's a wedding rush. Engagements are popping up one after the other. <sighs> Marriage. I wonder when I'll be able to get married myself. My name is Natsu, I'm 28 years old. I want to ride the wave that's called marriage, just like all of my other friends, but I guess I'm not as lucky. It would be ideal if I could get married while I'm still 28. I'm aware that that's just wishful thinking and is highly unlikely. Oh, why? <laughs> Bad news. I don't even have a boyfriend, and I don't even have a hint of romance in my life right now. I want to fall in love! I'm running out of time. I need a boyfriend. Somebody! Won't somebody be a Cupid and find me a great guy? Hey, look! I found a toy that we can play with. Sumomo, I think you're up to no good. You look like you're about to do something really naughty. Rin, you're absolutely right. Uh, but she always looks like that. Hey, miss! You can stop calling for help. We're here to help you! We're your cupids. Huh? Who are you? I'm Sumomo, and this is my gang. We're all cupids. We're gods of love. We'll help you find a boyfriend. Gods of love? <gasps> May! I never knew that we were gods of love. It sounds like so much fun. How did you find that out? Rin, we're not gods of love. This is all part of her plan to be naughty. You realized that she was up to no good, so you shouldn't believe everything she says. She has a bad habit of lying. Uh, who are these little girls? I wonder if they're playing Cupid or something? I have nothing else to do and no boyfriend to go on a date with, so I guess I'll play along with them. It's better than being all on my own right now. <laughs> You're all cupids? Oh, that's wonderful! I was looking for a cupid to help me. Do you think you could help me find a boyfriend? Oh, you're all so little and cute! Ah, <sighs> she doesn't believe us one bit! What can we do to make her believe? She's treating us like children. <sighs> I think I'm a little annoyed. I'm going to make her believe us no matter what it takes. Inazuka. I know you're around here somewhere. I want you to prepare that thing that Heiji was using the other day for his tricks. May, what did you ask Inu to do? Who is he going to help us become gods of love? It'll be more fun if you just wait and see. I wonder how you're going to help me. Oh, do you want me to push you on the swings before you start doing your cupid work? Let's go play over there. Uh, uh-huh. What? You're, you're, you're floating! What's going on? We can't help you. We can only help you help yourself. We create chances for you and nothing more. Whether you can make good use of those chances is up to you. And we don't need to be pushed on the swings. Cupids are serious when they come to their work, so you shouldn't treat us like children. May, you're really serious about this. Oh, my name's Rin. We'll do what we can to help you. Hip hip hooray! Are they really cupids? Gods of love? There's no other explanation for why they're floating. 
Or maybe I'm just imagining that they're floating. Hey, look! That woman's been talking to herself for a while now. It's kind of creeping me out. I don't know, but you shouldn't stare so much at weird people, Miss Inazuka. You never know what they might do. You're right. Let's just ignore her. What? Am I the only one that can see them? You're kidding. H have I gone crazy? You're the only one that can see us. We only make ourselves visible to people who need us. Yep. You called for a Cupid, so here we are. You haven't gone crazy. They know what I'm thinking? This is really scary, but I have no choice but to believe that it's true. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. I thought you were just normal children. I thought so. It happens a lot, but you shouldn't treat us like children anymore. We're gods of love. Understood. I won't make that mistake again. But now you know the truth. We're real gods of love, and you know why we're here. Yes, thank you for appearing before me. I'm having troubles with love, and I need your expertise. Ooh, indeed. We shall help you. Yeah, we'll do whatever we can. Inu, isn't this a bad idea? I learned about this last week. I learned that it's called, uh, getting carried away. The little lady looks like she's having fun. Nobody can stop her when she's like this. So we've got no choice but to watch how things turn out. Inazuka, you really are too sweet on the little lady. You've got to stop her when she gets out of control. Shut up! Say one more word and I'll bury you! That's way too unreasonable! I'm just being honest! Cupids, please! Help me, I want to get married, but I don't even have a boyfriend. I've lost all hope. You won't be able to find a boyfriend if you don't make the effort to meet people. Are you doing anything or going to any places to meet people? Like a pottery class or sports club? Well, I'm really busy at work. I don't have the time to go to things like that. None! That's no good! What? But uh, I, I work as a... That's where we've got to start making changes. The results will follow. Then let's go. I know the perfect place for you. Where? What do you have in mind? Just follow us. You've got to have a little more faith in us gods of love or nothing will change. I was taken to the public sports center in town. Good buddy, hey, if it isn't Lady Samomo, long time no see. Wanna play? Ah! Pretend you can't see the girls. Don't talk to them, and don't look at them. Huh? Newsy? Why not? Don't call me Newsy! Just uh, pretend you can't see them. They're invisible to you. You can only talk to the women. All right. You didn't have to hit me, Newsy. Hiya! Are you here to check out some sports clubs? Uh, well, uh, I'm here to... He can't see the cupids. I don't even know why they brought me here. But I can't ask them with him right in front of me. Oh, I know! You must be here to play Kabaddi! I can tell what a look on your face. You want to play, right? Kabaddi? What's that? I I've never played before. It's the national sport of India. Just tell the weird man that you want to join in. That's the first step you can make. You won't regret it. Uh, understood. Um, <clears throat> yes, I'd like to join in. I knew it! Oh yeah! My name is Leon, what about you? My name is Natsu. Hmm, that's really dry, so I guess I'll call you Coral! Coral, let's have a good game. Huh? I, I, I just told you my name is Natsu. Why would you call me Coral? Ugh, there, there's no point. Common sense doesn't work on this guy. You just have to ignore what he says most of the time, but he's probably right about the comedy. Really? Ugh, I'm kind of worried. Maybe we should go elsewhere. Come on, let's do some kabaddi! We're just getting started. Uh, yeah, okay. For some reason, I ended up playing kabaddi with all the people there. I had no idea what I was doing and felt like I had been thrown into the deep end when... <sighs> I didn't know kabaddi was this hard. I'm so tired. I feel like I've run a marathon! Here you go! You need to keep hydrated. 
It's really tough the first few times, but you get used to it. I felt the exact same way when I first started. Just warning you, you're in for a lot of muscle pain tomorrow. Oh, thank you. I really needed a drink. Uh, uh, hang on, aren't you Masa? It's me, Natsu. We went to the same middle school. Huh? Nat? Of course I remember you, it's been ages. So I didn't recognize you for a second. Yeah, you haven't changed one bit. How are you? What have you been up to? You know him. Who is he? Oh, well, we were in the same year back in middle school. We were pretty close back then. It's kind of embarrassing to say, but he's actually the first guy I ever liked. Masa had always been popular at school, so much so that there were a lot of girls that fought over him. We had been good friends, but I never even told him how I felt about him. Considering how popular he was back then, I wouldn't be surprised if he had already gotten married. Is something wrong? Oh, yeah, he can't see the cupids behind me. I can't believe I spoke to them in front of him. He's going to think I'm a weirdo. Uh, no, no, nothing's wrong. I'm perfectly okay. How have you been since we last met? It's been over ten years, so we got lots to catch up on. It feels like middle school was just yesterday. But, yeah, I've been good. How about you? I'm great! Oh, yeah, you got an invite to Saki's wedding, too, didn't you? I can't believe so many people are getting married. Yeah, I'm planning on going. Um, right? How many weddings do you think we'll have to attend this year? God knows. I guess we're already at the age where we can start thinking about having families and stuff. Before you know it, we'll be 30. Ugh, damn, I want to get married, too. I want to, but I don't even have a girlfriend. Really? You're not married yet? I imagine you'd already be married with kids. Huh? Why'd you think that? Oh, it's just that you were really popular in school. I, I suppose I'm surprised that you don't have a girlfriend even though so many girls were changing after you. No way! I wasn't that popular. Plus, I've never had a girlfriend, ever. Crap, I just said something really embarrassing. Please forget I said that. Really? I never do that. Today's just one surprise after the other. Ooh, this is perfect! Time to make a plan! Can you come over here for a sec? Let's talk! We have a great idea! Oh, oh, sorry, Masa, could you excuse me for a bit? Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. What are you thinking? Hey, what you talking about? I wanna join in too! Hey, shut your mouth! I told you to pretend you can't see them! Whoa, I'm flying! You should invite him to have dinner! Huh? Is that your great idea? Yeah, go on. Ask him out on a date. No, he won't want to go out with someone like me. If I do something like that, I'll just embarrass myself. He's bound to say no. Forget about that. What do you think of him? Well, he's just as handsome as he was in middle school, but... So it's not like I'm not interested in dating him, but... Then ask him out. It's as easy as that. No, it's not that easy. I'll just be bothering him, and he'll probably be weirded out. I don't think I can recover from the shock if I get rejected. And it's more likely that he'll say no than say yes. Ahem. <clears throat> there are costs and risks to a program of action, but they are far less than the long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. Huh? W w what did you say? That was really fast. It's a quote by John F. Kennedy. I'm sure you've heard it before. It teaches us that whatever dangers you may face when taking action are better than the dangers you'll have to face if you don't do anything at all. He also said, Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. Basically, everything he said means that you should ask Masa out. JFK, where did you remember all of that? Ugh. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he was talking about something much more important. If he rejects you, you might get depressed. But that's better than not doing anything at all. You never know. He might say yes. If you give up before you've even tried, you'll regret it. You don't know when you'll next meet him. This might be your last chance to ask him out. Aw, Inu. I don't think I can keep up with Samo and May. Especially May. I don't understand what they're talking about. What should I do? Sorry, Rin. The little lady hates being treated like a kid the most. She loses her temper and tries to act all grown up. 
She just has to get it out of her system, so can you play along for a little while longer? You're right. I might never get the chance to ask him out again. I don't think I could meet a guy as great as him either. Thank you, Cupids. I'm going to take action. Masa, sorry about that. That's okay. Um, I, I was wondering if maybe you might want to go out and get dinner sometime? Dinner? Oh, I guess you're too busy or something. <laughs> Never mind. No, I'm not. I was just surprised that you asked. I'd love to. Uh, but what about your husband or boyfriend? Will he be okay with that? Well, I'm not dating and I'm not married. I've never had a boyfriend myself. Really? You don't have a boyfriend? That's great! I'm glad to hear it! What? Nothing, nothing! So, when do you want to go out? Are you free next Saturday? Yes, yeah, Saturday's great! I'm looking forward to it. I was reunited with Masa at the Uwasa Sports Center playing kabaddi, and we promised to go out for dinner. We got to know each other again and went out on more dates, to an amusement park, going out to eat at places in town, and the more we met, the more I wanted to be with him. I guess he must have felt the same way because after dating for a few months... Natsu, will you marry me? Of course I will! Oh, I'm so happy! Cupids, thank you so much! This is all thanks to you! This wouldn't have happened if you didn't take me to the sports center and if you hadn't encouraged me to ask him out! Good for you! We're proud of you. You have to give yourself some praise too. If you hadn't grabbed the chance to ask him out, this never would have happened. You took action! Um, is it okay for us to be here? I feel like we're doing something bad. Of course you can be here! The only reason I'm here right now is thanks to you. You should be here to see how things turn out. I want you to see my happy ending. Oh, then I guess it's okay. Rin, you're overthinking things. Of course we can be here. Right, May? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. To be honest, I knew we shouldn't have tagged along on their dates, but I didn't know when to stop. <sighs> oh well. After all those years without a boyfriend spent solely on focusing on my work, I was finally engaged! I would be marrying the first guy I had ever fallen in love with! Oh, I was so happy! None of this would have happened if I hadn't met the Cupids. I was truly grateful that they had brought me such happiness. I was on cloud nine and treasuring every precious moment I had with Masa. Nothing could ruin my mood, or so I thought. A few days after Masa proposed, I introduced him to my parents and got their blessing. But I still had to meet Masa's dad. I had never met him, even when we were at school together. So I felt even more nervous about introducing myself as Masa's fiancé. Oh, I'm really nervous. What do I do? What, what should I say? What if he doesn't like me? You'll be okay. My mom passed away a while ago, and he doesn't get many guests, so he's been pretty lonely. I'm sure he'll be happy to meet you. You'll see. I hope so. My parents were thrilled and even said that they would help pay for the wedding, so I can't help but think that everything's going too well. By the way, are they coming with us today as well? Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, no, it's nothing. Forget I said anything. Cupids, it's finally time for me to meet my father-in-law-to-be. I'm going to do my best. No matter what happens, I won't give up on taking action. You'll be okay. Do your best. Yeah, be more confident in yourself. I'm sure everything will be okay. Hey, let's go home already! We've been hanging around them for ages! We've already come this far. We might as well see it through to the end. What? But I'm bored of playing Cupid! It was finally time for me to introduce myself to Masa's dad and announce our engagement. I was really nervous, but the Cupids were with me, so I felt confident that I could get through it. If I ran away now, I would waste their efforts, and more importantly, I wanted to overcome this with Masa. Um, excuse me? Is someone home? Hello! It's lovely to meet you. My name is Natsu. I, I heard from your son that you liked wine, so I brought you something. I hope you like it. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Dad! How about we talk inside? We can sit down! Yeah? Huh? Where did the Cupids go? I thought they would come with me. 
<sighs> I hope they'll appear again. Well, I hear you want to marry my son. Yes, that's true. We're in love and we'd like to get married. Dad, it's not that we want to get married. We are getting married. It's already decided. Natsu's parents have already given us their blessing. And you've already started making plans. I don't remember giving my blessing. I'm the groom's father. Don't I have a say in this? What? Are you trying to say that you don't approve? Listen, Master. I've told you this before, but our family is a prestigious one. We have a reputation to uphold. What about it? In this day and age, that sort of stuff doesn't matter. I can marry who I like. To tell you the truth, there were a lot of women that came to ask after you. And called to leave their number. I was the one that shooed them all away for you. I made sure that they left and never came back. What? What are you talking about? Are you being serious? Yeah, I had to get rid of any threats to our wealth. All of those women were only interested in how much money you would inherit. And only had superficial thoughts of wanting to live like a celebrity or whatever. But I never knew about this woman until you told me you were dating. Are you sure she's not after our money too? Of course she isn't! Ness was not that kind of person. You don't even know her, why would you say that? Are you sure you know her yourself? I'm not after your money. I really do love Masa. I'm not interested in anything else besides him. And I never knew that his family was rich anyway. Masa's not really the type to brag about that kind of stuff. No, I'll have to ask you a few questions to determine whether you're worthy of marrying my son or not. Whether I approve of your engagement depends on how you answer. If I'm satisfied with what you say, I'll allow you to marry him. What the hell are you saying, Dad? Why does she have to prove herself to you? I'm gonna marry her because I love her. Listen, Massa, who you marry is much more important than you think. We can't let her bloodline fold her. You have to marry someone worthy of giving birth to your son. You can't soil our family tree by marrying someone beneath you. You can't just marry someone because you love them. You have a duty to choose the right person to marry. Dad, you're kidding, right? I never knew you thought like that. Anyway, I have some questions to ask. I don't think I need to tell you that I expect you answer honestly. What have you been doing up until now? Up until now? I, I don't understand. You don't understand? That's disappointing. I'm asking you about your education and your career. What else do you think I'll be interested in? Of course, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, well, I went to a different high school, Tomasa, but I graduated from college when I was 19. After that, I was in... Hey, wait a minute. I thought I told you to be honest. Excuse me? You graduated from college at 19? Why would you tell such a blatant lie? Are you an idiot? You mean you graduated from high school at 19, don't you? <laughs> That's hilarious. I can't believe you're stupid enough to think that high school counts as college. What, did you want to impress me? You've clearly failed. I'm only impressed by your idiocy. Hey, Massa, I won't let you marry a high school graduate. She's too stupid. Dad, you're being rude. It's unacceptable for you to talk about high school graduates like that. Whether someone progresses to college or not isn't just a matter of their intelligence. It depends on a lot of other things, too. Some people just aren't interested in going to college at all, and they could go on to do great things without a degree. I don't care how much you empathize with high school graduates. As long as she doesn't have a degree, she doesn't deserve to marry you. I won't allow it. You, whatever your name is, you can leave. No, she's not leaving. Natsu isn't a high school graduate. What? Natsu went to college and got a degree in medicine. She graduated at 19 because she skipped a few grades in middle and high school. What medicine? She went to a medical school? Yeah, she went to study abroad. And for your information, she's currently working as a doctor. This must be a joke. She's working as a doctor? I don't believe you. If you want, I can show you my medical license. And I have my graduation certificate at home somewhere. I can bring it with me and you can take a look yourself. You really think you can deceive me like that? I bet they're fake. You must think that you'll be able to trick me if you say that it's a certificate from another country. No, I won't allow you to marry my son. Our family is too noble for you. 
I can't let you soil our blood with your filth. I have a duty to uphold to our family. Dad, you better stop right there. If you say one more insulting thing to Natsu, I don't care if you're my dad, I won't forgive you! Oi, what's up? Are you getting on well? Huh? Cupids! What are you doing? I thought you disappeared. It's not enough! What? What are you brats want? We were trying to play Go Fish, but we didn't have enough cards. You've got to give us more. Yeah, we went looking for some, but there's still not enough. Where do you keep your other cards? Hurry, hurry! We need more cards! What? Where did you get those cards from? These are all business cards from prostitutes. And there's a lot of them. Are these all in the house? Noble found me my ass. Uh, no, it's not what you think. Well, you brats, why were you going through my things? Come on, give us more cards. We want to go play Go Fish. We're bored of waiting for you guys to finish talking, so give us some cards. There aren't any, that's all I have. You kids shouldn't be in my house to begin with. Oh, you don't have any more? Did you lose the rest of the pack? Oh, I know. Maybe if we ask the neighbors, they'll know where they went. Oh, good idea. Let's go around and ask. That way, we can help find the rest of the pack. Hey, wait, what are you doing? Bring me back those cards. Let's split up and search. Yeah, it'll be quicker to find the cards that way. Alright, it's a card hunt! Um, excuse me, do you have any cards like this? Uh, no, I don't. If you find any, can you return them to that house over there? The man is missing a lot of cards from his pack. Thank you! Do you have any similar cards? We're looking for some that are missing. Uh, no, I don't have any cards like that. They belong to that man that lives in that house over there. Can you return them if you find any? Uh, yeah, sure. Oi, do you know this card? There were loads of them in that man's house. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me, I, I didn't know that. Stop, Dad! What are you all doing? I couldn't find anybody that had the same cards. Maybe we should walk a bit further? <sighs> I'll call for backup. We need more people to help us search. The situation has gotten out of control. Uh, hang on. Everyone can see the cupids? I wonder if they're making themselves visible on purpose. Do they have powers like that too? After that, the cupids were running around the neighborhood asking if anybody had seen any business cards like the ones they had found in Masa's dad's house. Rumors spread that Masa's dad was looking for the rest of his prostitute business card collection, and he became known to the local area as the Prostitute King. Damn it, I'm being talked about by everyone in the neighborhood. I'm a laughing stock. Those little brats, I'll make them pay. Dad, you've insulted my fiance enough. I'm not interested in being part of your so-called noble family, so I'm leaving. I'm cutting ties with you. I'm gonna marry the woman I love, no matter what you say. Wait, Massa! You can't leave me! Come back! You have a duty to this family! Like that, Massa parted ways with his own father, and we were able to get married without any objections from our friends and family. We had the wedding of our dreams, and we're currently living very happily together. It's all thanks to the Cupids, and I wanted to thank them again for their support. But the second we got married, I couldn't find them anymore. It's unfortunate, but it seems that it's true that they only make themselves visible to those who are in need of their help. Now I have Masa, I don't need their powers, but it's kind of lonely that I can't share my happiness with them. I wish I could meet them just one more time so that I could say thank you. I wonder if there's a way to meet them. Hey, you might not believe me, but... What is it? We were able to get married because the Cupids helped us to find one another. They used their powers as gods of love to bring us together. Huh? What are you talking about? Yeah, I knew you might think I'm being weird. There were three Cupids and they all looked like normal little girls, but they were giving me advice ever since we met. Only I could see them, but they appeared just once, when we went to go see your dad. They were the little girls that were looking for the business cards. I think they caused all that trouble to help me, too. I'd really like to thank them if I could meet them one more time. 
Seriously? You thought that they were cupids? Natsu, you're smart and I love you. But you can be really deadsy sometimes. Huh? What are you talking about? Do you want to meet them? What? Y you can take me to them? How? Let's go take a walk. You'll be able to meet them in no time. Huh? Masa took me to the local park and I was shocked. Oh, there's sand stuck in here. Are you that bad at cleaning? Uh, May, it's a sandbox. It's got to have sand in it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? Cupids? What are you all doing here? What? You want to play house with us? I wanted to meet you. Why did you disappear like that? Thank you so much for all of your help. Why are you playing in a sandbox? They're regulars at this park. They're real kids that live around here somewhere. Real kids? What? You're kidding. Oh, I remember. She's the lady we played Cupid with. Oh, yeah. The one that treated us like kids. Oh, yeah. I remember that she had a happy ending. You forgot about me? Uh, but, 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 but wait. More importantly, I, I thought you couldn't see them. I brought them on every date we had. You knew they were there every single time. Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, I thought it was strange, but I didn't say anything because you made it seem so natural. Like they were supposed to be there or something. Well, embarrassing things happen. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I couldn't stop myself. Oh dear, I told you we should have gone home. Seriously? Oh, this is so embarrassing. I thought nobody could see them, so I was thinking of ways to talk to them without looking weird and everything, but I looked weird anyway. <laughs> but no matter how embarrassing it may be, it doesn't change the fact that I never would have met Masa if it weren't for them. To me, they're my important cupids. I'm really grateful for everything they've done. There are costs and risks to a program of action, but they are far less than the long-range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. That's an important lesson I learned from these girls. I'm going to keep that in mind and keep on trying out new things. It would be a waste to stand still and not do anything at all. <laughs>